Well, it is truly a delight to be here. It's great to come back on campus, and uh, this year marks uh, our 25th reunion for the class of 86. And uh, I was last here about five years ago, and it's great to see the continued improvements here at uh, Houghton College. So Houghton uh, is one of those uh, things in my life that, uh, as I look back, I deeply cherish. And uh, as I look at uh, that time of uh, meeting my wife, Christy, who was in the class of 87, and uh, really a number of lifelong friendships and uh, Darlene at the uh, table over here, who uh, some of you know that works here at Houghton, was uh, also a classmate of mine. And uh, as uh, you are developing friendships, and as they say, you definitely will have lifelong friendships. And thanks to Facebook, it has uh, connected uh, quite a few of us, actually, uh, over the last several years. So I am truly thankful for the experiences of friendships, of, uh, of just the quality education that I think you are all uh, experiencing and, and sensing. And uh, yes, uh, there is a plan for each of you. And so I thought tonight that I would uh, just spend some time um, talking about some of my life journeys and some of the, uh, the lessons that God has taught me along the way, just as a means to encourage you this evening. And uh, I also uh, just want to uh, express my deep appreciation, um, Professor Halberg, for your investment in me and for the other professors that you represent um, that uh, diligently, class after class, and uh, all the trips up to the Buffalo campus uh, for uh, our evening classes while we had our internship. Uh, truly thankful for all that uh, you have invested in me personally. So thank you. I uh, graduated uh, in uh, 1986. I actually finished a semester early in uh, December of 85. And as many of you are uh, trying to figure out, the question is, what do I do? And so I found myself uh, actually in December of that year still wondering, what am I going to do? And then uh, it was interesting, within probably the, a matter of a couple of weeks, uh, the Lord uh, opened up two opportunities. One was an offer from um, a place I had done my internship in Buffalo, Graphic Controls. And uh, that position was a part-time uh, position with them. And then the second position was uh, a Marine Midland Bank in the Internal Audit uh, Division. And so, uh, as Professor Halberg mentioned, uh, a colleague of his, uh, Dwayne Wheeland, who was my predecessor in the role I am now, actually hired me uh, in the Internal Audit Division at Marine Midland Bank in uh, early 1986. And so, uh, quite a connection there uh, with Dwayne and uh, even so today. And so, that's where I started. Uh, the Lord began to uh, provide a number of opportunities as, uh, as I worked uh, there from uh, 1986 on in the areas of operation and uh, finance and uh, budget and planning and uh, also in product management. I spent some time in insurance. And so uh, as I look at those and as you walk through those particular assignments, it was interesting how God was beginning to orchestrate something even greater than any one of those specific uh, assignments. And so uh, the first life lesson that I really want to share with you and, uh, and, and leave with you is this. To be faithful with what God gives you. And uh, I think that uh, begins even right now with, uh, with class, or it's a, a job, a part-time job, uh, but be faithful in the things that God uh, brings your way. And uh, I just found over the years that uh, whatever that situation was, I just, I just sensed that God was saying, be faithful. And so that, uh, to me, uh, is just an incredible example of... Uh, of this aspect of stewardship, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship uh, with those that uh, you're around here, or it's in the aspect of our finances. It all is in that, uh, that aspect of faithfulness. Well, in 1997, just to kind of uh, propel a little bit further, uh, I, was, 
uh, at one of the first crossroads in my career. And it was actually in 1997, the first time I interviewed with the Christian Missionary Alliance for the position that I, I hold right now. And uh, I was looking at that. I was looking at a position in uh, the Community Reinvestment Act, uh, which was a new uh, amount of regulation that was coming out in an area that was collecting uh, census data on mortgages and other types of things. And then the third area was in uh, uh, the insurance, uh, which banks were beginning to get into uh, the ability to sell insurance. And so uh, that was the first crossroads, and at that time, uh, going to the Christian Missionary Alliance was not uh, part of God's plan. And so uh, I went back and uh, continued my career at the bank. But what I want to uh, also mention is that as I graduated from Houghton, and even back in 1986, one of the things that God had put in my heart was to use my business skills in a, ministry set, in a ministry setting. And so I was beginning to wonder uh, about that dream, particularly after uh, that interview. Was I being called to stay in the marketplace and to uh, continue the calling in that place, or, and was the dream to be in a ministry setting not part of God's plans? And uh, so that was uh, the first time I began to think, well, maybe God is just asking me to be part of, uh, of the marketplace. And I think the, the point there is that wherever God takes you, whether it's in the marketplace, whether it's in the ministry world, whether it's in a nonprofit setting, wherever God places you and calls is very important. And I think sometimes we distinguish those that may be in ministry and those that are in the marketplace, but in God's eye, uh, he has called us to each of those places, and all of those places are quite valuable in his eyes. Well, I uh, began to, to, uh, to work in the insurance agency. It was uh, at that point where we were starting from scratch. It was the president of the insurance agency and myself, and uh, things began to take off. And even in a financial sense, for me personally, uh, the Lord was beginning to increase uh, even the financial uh, rewards of being an executive. And uh, the second life lesson that uh, I want to leave with you this evening is the importance of living below your means. And uh, the... I think the temptation as uh, you earn more money is to spend more money. And uh, it, I, I can remember the temptations particularly from um, my boss uh, who wanted me to live in a particular area of town uh, which would have significantly increased uh, taxes and housing and all of those types of things. And yet there was something, uh, there was really something within us to say no and uh, to live below uh, th our means. And so I think whether it's, uh, it's from a standpoint of uh, investing in other people, obviously uh, investing in the kingdom of God with those resources, it really comes down to what is our priorities with the resources that God has given to us. And so uh, as I'm going to share uh, in a little bit, uh, living below our means was really one of the ways that God uh, opened the door for us to go to Colorado Springs and work for the Christian Missionary Alliance. So life lesson uh, that uh, I hope that uh, you will seriously uh, take to heart. Well, in 2002, uh, HSBC bought uh, Household Finance. It was uh, uh, one of the largest uh, finances of, of credit in the United States and they also had an insurance agency and so uh, when those things happen you find uh, very quickly that there can only be one president and uh, so someone had to leave and that happened to be with uh, the gentleman that I worked for and so he um, ended up going to London and doing another assignment and uh, I worked for the new president of the insurance agency they were based down in Bridgewater New Jersey and so um, at that point, I was thinking about uh, what is it that, that I should be doing in this new structure. 
And so uh, the thoughts run through my mind as far as, uh, you know, I've done operations, I've done financial things, I'd love to try something else. And so there was an opening in just overseeing uh, the business development or the sales force uh, in working with uh, folks in our, our branches uh, to sell insurance products as well as throughout the, eight, the household finance uh, network. And so I took on that role. I was asked uh, to stay and to do that. And as it turned out, it turned out to be the worst year of my life, just literally. Uh, both from uh, having to travel not only down to New Jersey, but to New York City, Chicago. Uh, my week was basically getting on a plane on Monday and coming back uh, Thursday night. And uh, it was quite a, quite a hectic pace. Uh, my boss and I were oil and water, and I just felt, even from the ability to lead the business development uh, uh, sales force, there was just something that was just greatly uncomfortable. And so that really leads me to uh, the third life lesson, which has to do with staying in your strengths. And uh, the temptation, as I had at that point in time, is to be able to think that we need to be well-rounded. And so I looked at, uh, you know, hey, I've done operations and I've done uh, financial types of things. Uh, you know, it would, sure would look great on my resume to be able to say that uh, I've managed uh, the sales force and, and to be able to do some of these other things. But uh, as uh, I have learned, and as I want to share with you, God has uniquely wired each of us for some very specific things that he wants to accomplish through us. And as I like to say, it's just uh, great to stay within our sweet spots. Or another analogy would be to stay within our swim lanes uh, as far as the things that we are gifted with, with and skilled with. And so uh, that uh, was uh, just an incredibly painful lesson, but one which uh, I will never forget, and hopefully some of you uh, can prevent as a result of uh, really exercising your strengths. So I know some of you have taken the strengths, I think it's the strengths quest, and uh, if you have not taken that, I would like to strongly urge you to, uh, I think down in the bookstore there are some resources or I think you can go online to actually find out what are your strengths and then to align your um, 